going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another first reaction video. Usually I do these for cinematic releases, but right now in today's current climate, it's with streaming movies or VOD or whatever I decide to watch that is brand new. And just recently I saw the new Netflix exclusive The Five Bloods. The Five Bloods was directed by Spike Lee, a legendary filmmaker best known for movies like Do the Right Thing. He directed Malcolm X. He also directed Black Klansman recently. And now he directed The Five Bloods. And the movie follows four black Vietnam veterans who return to Vietnam, not only to pay respects to a fallen comrade in their unit, but also to reclaim some gold that they left right behind during the war. And I thought this was an interesting release. And before I dive into it, let me, I'll share my experiences with Spike Lee. This is only my third Spike Lee film. I've also seen Malcolm X and Black Klansman. I do respect Spike Lee's craft as a filmmaker. He, de he definitely has a lot of interesting things to say in his movies and he's definitely one of like probably one of the best directors in regards to black cinema. I do have a few issues with Spike Lee though and a lot of it has to do sometimes he gets over preachy in his movies. Like he'll make an entertaining film, he'll have great cast and he'll have good payoffs but sometimes he just gets on his soapbox and just show, shares his views a little bit to a point where it gets very obnoxious. A good example of that is Black Klansman, which is a movie I really, really loved. I thought it was highly entertaining and I enjoyed the storytelling of that. But he went very off the rails in its ending to where even though it has some powerful imagery in it, it took me out of the movie because of how excessive his soapbox rambling was. And it's something that's alienated me the more and more I think about Black Klansman. Surprisingly, The Five Bloods, while he does get on his soapbox during the film, the worst of his soapbox is actually at the beginning of the film. He usually saves it for the very end, and the end of The Five Bloods actually did not have his usual soapbox rambling. There's a couple of archive footages in there and stuff, but it actually better fit the themes of the movie instead of Spike Lee just coming on a soapbox and preaching his whatever views he wants to preach in his movies and that really surprised me. The Five Bloods is actually a very powerful movie. Uh, I wasn't sure at first. The movie has a very slow start. The first hour of the two and a half hour film is excruciatingly slow where you just see these vets reunite hang out, share their personal stories. A lot of it is easily filler and it does it, does, it doesn't always work. I wasn't sure where it was leading up to. But as soon as we get to the gold, as soon as the characters debate on what to do with it, and then when crazy twists and turns start happening, that's when the movie really picked up. Spike Lee is definitely someone who loves paying homage to classic films, and it's no exception in The Five Bloods. There's shades of apocalypse now if it's Vietnam setting. And because characters are obsessing over gold and there's themes of greed in there, there's a little bit of the classic film, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, thrown in there as well. And it's cool seeing those homages in a modern film like this, which I find pretty awesome. The performances in here are all very excellent, especially someone by the name of Delroy Lindo, who plays the main character who is the vet who has suffered the most uh, in their time at Vietnam. He's definitely had the most demons to fight. He's struggling with PTSD. He's made some choices that's alienated some of the other veterans. And I thought he gives a phenomenal performance. Like His performance is Oscar quality. I really hope he gets Oscar nominated for his performance because he is utterly fantastic. And even some of the political stuff in this movie. Like I said, there's a little bit of soapbox, Spike Lee, usual soapbox stuff, especially near the beginning of the movie. But a lot of it is actually done very respectfully. Uh, one of the characters is a Donald Trump supporter, and that's a lot of times in Hollywood when you have that thrown in your movie, it tends to be very divisive because Trump's a very divisive figure. 
But what they do in this movie, they make the character who supports somebody that, you know, has an interesting reaction from people, particularly black people, and... They do it. It's done in such a respectful way. The character that supports Trump is actually very layered and three dimensional. You see where he's coming from, and that's something I really appreciate. If you want to make a movie with different worldviews, at least do it in a respectful way. And I was surprised to see to see that in a Spike Lee film because I know Spike Lee is a really big Trump critic. Doesn't care for him too much, and it was really impressive that he wrote in a character who supported Trump and made him a three-dimensional character instead of like this cartoonish buffoon you could have easily done like a Saturday Night Live parody or something but it's very impressive what Spike Lee was able to do there it really shocked me honestly and it made the movie all the more interesting in my opinion The Five Bloods is such a good film I wasn't sure at first it is really slow you gotta get through a slow beginning but the movie does pick up where you definitely get to see the acting come in full force. You get to see what Spike Lee was trying to say. And it's not as overly preachy as some of his other films. Yeah, there's political talks in there. The movie does have some timely topics in there like racism, obviously. But the movie is still pretty powerful at times. I think the movie definitely got its point across. I definitely enjoyed the direction the movie went, especially as the movie picked up. And while I don't think it's going to make my personal favorites of the year, I still deeply respect this film, and it is definitely worth checking out on Netflix. If you have it, it's definitely worth checking out just to see the performances and to see Spike Lee direct the film that I don't think is as soapboxy as some of the other Spike Lee films I've seen. So that's pretty impressive. I'm going to give... The Five Bloods, a four and a half out of five stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 85 out of 100. So that wraps up my first reaction of The Five Bloods. I was pleasantly surprised by this film. I was dreading it at first because Spike Lee, he tends to be very extreme in some of his political views. I'm like, oh man, I, if I'm going to be alienated again, I don't really want to be a part of this, but... The Five Bloods is really, really good. I definitely dug this film, and it's definitely one of the better Spike Lee films. I still think Black Klansman's his best film, even though I have issues with the ending. I still think Black Klansman is the more entertaining film. Although, The Five Bloods definitely has a lot to say as well, and it is definitely worth checking out on Netflix. I hope you enjoyed this first reaction video, and if you've seen the film, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!